You know, some scientists may ask why, some may ask why not, but Carl asks why can't we go outside and make it bigger? That's right. So here we are outside of the Imagination Station with the chief scientist, Carl Nelson. What do you have in store for us? Two liter bottle filled with 95% ethyl alcohol. That's probably okay. flammable. It's flammable. Okay. But we're not going to ignite the liquid because if we do that, we're just going to melt the bottle and that's interesting, but it's not as exciting as it can be. Okay. We what want. we're going to do, I'm going to empty out all the liquid. We don't okay. want any liquid in there. All we have are the vapors. <laughs> we're going to ignite the vapors. And to do that, I've got this little device here. It's like a grill sparker. You won't be able to see it outside. It's really tiny. But what we're going to do is I'm going to lay that bottle on the table. Again, give this to you. You're going to produce a spark near the end. Okay. Hopefully, we'll be able to ignite the vapors. <laughs> Great. Okay. Is this your own patent? No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> okay, now, and the wind hopefully will cooperate with us. All right, get in there. All right, three, two, ignite. Get it really close to the end. Come towards me. Are you me. sure this isn't your patent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put, push it in there. All the way in there. All right. May need a little help from a flame. OK. Here. Come on, vapors. Whoa. Yeah. I think it's so windy in here, it blew yeah. some of those vapors out. Not, of not very exciting. The two liter. That's why we're going to amp it up. Oh. So instead of like trying the flame that's blowing around in the wind, it didn't really work so well. Go ahead and shake this around. Got it. I'm going to shake mine. <clears throat> we're going to empty the liquid out. Pour it into your beaker there. Oh, all right. Again, we just want the vapors. So we have some nice alcohol vapors inside. This is tight. This is tight. Here. I'm going to loosen I'll, I'll it give for you. you. I'll give you the little one. Thank, thank you for loosening for me. Yeah. OK, we got this one off. Get rid of the liquid. And now we're going to insert these right on top of our launching sticks. OK. OK, so the spark's going to be right in the midst of all the vapor. Just put that right down in there. And then uh, on a three, two, one, let's just launch them out into the field. Okay, three, three two, two, one. one. Ah. Woo! Got a little bit of a, a little noisy. Yeah. Yeah. I can hear yeah. that in my inner ear. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that was cool, but they weren't really rockets. These <laughs> look more like rockets to me. They got some nice fins on it. I've added some weight in the top nose cone. Okay. So take the cap off down here. All right. Again, we have that 95% ethyl alcohol inside. We're going to shake it, get oh. some vapors inside. Did you shake this one already? I, I did, I think. Okay. okay. So just go ahead and pour that out. Again, igniting the vapors. And by inserting that spark right up inside, we're going to get a really nice combustion. The air inside is going to heat up. It's a nice example of Newton's third law of motion. The air heats up, it expands, sure. it rushes out the back of the bottle, and we get the rocket launching straight ahead. Go ahead, do yours first. You ready? All right, so give me a countdown. Three, two, one. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Mm -hmm. There's oh, some aerodynamic design in there, nice. too. This is just straight out of NASA. All right, before I do mine, I want to remind everybody, you can come down here to the Imagination Station, maybe not do this, but you can meet Carl Nelson, who cooks these ideas up inside. And they are open on Saturdays for Lucas County residents 12 and under with a paid adult admission. Those 12 and under who live in Lucas County get in free. All right, I'm ready to launch this rocket here, inserting the ignition source. And right. that is how you imagine it.